Hi guys, how are you today? Welcome back to my channel, Adventures in America. Today we're going to talk about the visa requirement for the foreign spouses, children, or parents of a Filipino national who is traveling in the Philippines. Before we get started, I also made other videos about Philippines travel update. It's regarding quarantine and arrival guidelines in the Philippines, also about dual citizens, also foreign tourists traveling in the Philippines, and the fourth video I made, I made is about non-overseas Filipino workers and dual citizens forms and checklists before flying. I will make sure that I will send the links below and the resources and the government agencies websites for everything that we are going to be discussing in this video and I'll also provide the travel guidelines from Philippine Airlines Bureau of Immigration and other forms and links for your convenience so let's get started there was an issue once a, of a resolution from the interagency task force of infectious diseases and this task force is under the Department of Health in coordination with the Bureau of Immigration and they issued new guidelines for visa requirements for foreign spouses, children, and parents of foreign national, as well as those Filipinos who have lost their citizenship and are, and are not currently dual citizens. So this video is applicable to all of you. Okay, so let's talk about the requirements for you to qualify for the visa. First of all, if you're a foreign spouse of a Filipino national, you need to present proof of marriage or a marriage certificate and also uh, the proof of citizenship of the Filipino national such as a Philippine passport or a birth certificate. For the second category, foreign minor children or foreign children of the Filipino national regardless of age, you need to show proof of affiliation by sending a copy of a birth certificate and a Philippine passport of the Philippine national. The third category would be the foreign parents and of Filipino children with special needs regardless of age. You also need to send proof of affiliation such as a birth certificate and also a Philippine passport of the Philippine national. Also they included um, those who are former Filipinos who became a, let's say a US citizen and they are not currently dual citizens they also need to apply for a pre-approved visa to travel in the Philippines regarding the processing all the documents must be submitted online through email and I'll send the email address of the Philippine Embassy here in the United States also please take note that the Filipino national can be traveling with you or he or she can be in the Philippines so it doesn't mean that the Filipino citizen should be with you when you travel in the Philippines. It is enough that he or she in the Philippines or just traveling with a group. I am providing you a copy of the application of the non-immigrant visa. All you have to do is fill out the information, name, address, phone number, the reason for your visit, your passport information, and the, 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 the length or the reason for staying in the Philippines just provide them the information that you will be visiting a family member or your spouse and also you needed to provide a two by two photo and the application must also be notarized and signed by you before submitting to an email to the embassy of the philippines located here in the Let's talk about the cost and the turnaround time for processing your visa application there's a distinction between a citizen of a country that has a visa agreement with the Philippines. The cost will be $30 and the, the turnaround time would be less. And there's also, if you're a citizen of a country that does not have a visa agreement in the Philippines, the cost is different. It's, it's, it's about $40. So make sure that you contact the Philippine Embassy or the consulate to make sure that if your country has an agreement or not and because it differs in the cost and the processing times 
there is also an information about which countries have a, an agreement with the Philippines regarding visa issuances and make sure uh, to check the information regarding your country before applying for a visa. I hope that I provided you valuable information before traveling to the Philippines and if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe and hit that notification bell and I will continue to provide videos about Philippines travel update and I hope to see you guys next time stay safe and enjoy your day have a nice day everyone thanks for watching bye